Welcome back to Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. We're going on a field trip. I know some of you are in states who you can't get alcohol at your grocery store. Seems weird to me in California, right? So today we're going bourbon hunting at my local grocery store. You're gonna see me walk out the house, head down the road, and literally that's how close this is to my house. Bourbon hunting at my local grocery store. Let's go. We're going a little hunting here. All right, peeps, let's hop in this badass Jeep and do this thing. Like I said, this grocery store is literally just down the street from my house. There's like one stoplight. And if it's green, it really takes about one minute to get to my local grocery stores, which is Rayleigh's. Uh, Rayleigh's, Bel Air, and Knob Creek. Chain grocery stores, you live in uh, California. They're all up and down this coast. I, I don't know how far off of the west coast they go. But let's get in here and see what we got. And there's my beautiful bad axe wife right there. What do we have here? We got some Stranahan, some Wilderness Trail, Pure Kentucky. Anyone had Pure Kentucky? What do you think about that? I loves me some horse soldier and that sale price 49.99 is great there's a whole row of basil hayden you can have frey ranch if you guys can get frey ranch get it i know they're outside of uh california they're in like 47 48 states now brothers bond don't care for that high west hit and miss for me woodford reserve the double oak yeah, 53.99 rod and hammer they got some some decent stuff the cast strength is what i kind of stick with for them, they're California, Redwood Empire, you know, they're from California, Pipe Dream and Lost Monarch, Knob Creek number nine, that's always a hitter there. And Buffalo Trace, you know, it's $26.99 right there on sale. Normally it's $27.99. Got your bullets. Bullet bourbon, that's one of my favorites in an old fashioned. It's an old fallback. We got the Maker's Cast Strength, which I like for Makers, and the Maker's 46. We got that ugly little thor's hammer bottle but uh and i really don't care for regular makers but you guys can see the prices there uh there's a uh, jack daniels bonded you guys know what i think about that uh, there it is that's what i think about that but 42.99 really i don't think so 35 bucks is even a lot for that i think it's more like a 25 to 30 dollar ball tell you the truth but there's your flavored whiskeys from Jack Daniels. I actually like Tennessee Fire better than the, uh, what's that uh, other stuff, that Fireball, if I'm going to have stuff like that. But we got your uh, Redemption and your Templeton Rye. I mean, look at that, $37.99 on sale, normally at $51.99. Some good stuff. Pendleton, though, I, I'm kind of liking the Pendleton uh, Midnight at 90 proof. I'm not a big fan of the regular Pendleton, but for $31.99, I'm going to grab some of that. i got to go back. That Pendleton Rye had 12-year rye I was disappointed with, especially for being a 12-year, proofed it down to 80 proof. Howlerhead, that's one of my kids' uh, favorites. I could take a sip or two of that. I don't hate it. $23.99, though. Doughball, he got me some of that for Christmas. Screwball, that's an old uh, fallback right there. Larceny. Uh, you know what? I, it's hit and miss. I mean, the barrel proofs are great, or barrel strengths are great. And we got the old Forrester lineups right there. Elijah Craig got the rise on the bourbon 1792 small batch is always a good fallback right there on sale for $29.99 Puncher's Chance anyone had that let me know what you think about that I'm not a big four roses fan there's our one-on-one -on -one rye for $19.99 and the tags are mixed up right there but what it says is we got the 101 bourbon for $19.99 and we got that handle 1.75 for $23.99 on sale of course there's our gym beams a double oak which is not bad actually that black is not bad either really especially for those prices of course now we got a regular old gym beam straight bourbon whiskey with the giants logo on it you know the orange the honey the peach those aren't bad especially for what they are evan williams decent early times i or 10 high kessler i can't stand any of those early times ball and bond though that's a different story i could do that for sure so now over here we got 
an actual glass case in this store. We got some Irish whiskey there. We got the Red Breast 12 year, which is good. I just prefer the cast strength. I want a little bit stronger. Got our mixer set up right there. Decent prices for those. And we're gonna go down to the Crown Royals. We got our Canadian stuff right here. And those seem to be popular, those peaches. Look at these prices, people. Let me know what you think. 89.99, that's about normal for barrel uh, seagrass. Although I do think for Jack Daniels single barrel select, $43, $44 is a little steep for that. I know it can be hard to get, but maybe I just see it all the time. So I think it's a little steep. Jefferson's Reserve, I don't really think about it too much. It doesn't impress me, I don't hate it. We got your whistle pigs here in the form of a, a piggyback, six years of bourbon and rye, the farm stock, the 10 year small batch. I really don't like sipping it till about the 12 year. Uh, here's the star of the show for me though, the Reverie bourbon. I really like the uh, rye as well, but that bourbon there, dude, really, for 60 bucks, I'm on it. Yeah, Four Roses Small Batch Select, I could take that, but not for that price. I'm not going to really pay that much for it. I'm not a huge Four Roses fan, like I said, but I'll do it. You know, I'll take it. That Willet Family Estate Reserve for 76 bucks. I think that's my favorite whiskey in an old-fashioned right now. Got to say, a little bougie about that. Just going to skip over that Willet pot still there. So we got Rabbit Hole. We got Stellum. Angel's Envy Rye and Bourbon. Great starters in both those categories. Nice and sweet. Proof's not too high. You want to get someone into whiskey. That's the way to do it. 1920 for 60 bucks. Jefferson's Ocean right there. We know that gimmick sloshing around at sea. I'm still not impressed. We got the Origin series from Bardstown. We got the next in the Fusion series from Bardstown. Those are pretty good prices for those. So yeah, this is right down the street from where I live. This is my local neighborhood grocery store. This is what I can get where I am. What can you guys get where you live? Let me know uh, if you saw anything good in here to you. I mean, no, I know there's some good stuff in here, but uh, let me know. Anything caught your eye, all right? See you. Hey, peeps, before I go, please do me a huge favor. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. Any creator will tell you the same thing. Please subscribe, share this video, and like it. And please leave a comment. Let me know what other whiskey content you'd like to see. Have a good one. Be safe. Cheers.